Let's start. The project name is the Alarm Manager. Let's see the project structure. Here we have the main activity and my broadcast receiver. And in the UI, we have an activity underscore main.xml file, which is the layout of the main activity. The broadcast receiver is registered in the manifest file like this. Since the alarm manager needs to work even if the app is not in the foreground, the broadcast receiver needs to be registered in the manifest file. So that it stays alive even the app is not working in the foreground. Let's see the UI. In the activity underscore main.xml file, we have two buttons, the start alarm and the stop alarm. Then we have an edit text, where we mention after how much time the alarm should be fired. Let's see the code. The constraint layout is the root layout. This is the edit text. This is the start alarm button. This is the stop alarm button. Let's see the Java code now. This is the broadcast receiver. Whenever an alarm gets triggered, we call this broadcast receiver, which then vibrates the Android device and shows a toast. These are the imports. This is the main activity. These are the data members. In the onCreate function, first, we create an intent and a pending intent of the broadcast receiver and get the alarm service. When the start alarm button is clicked, we get the alarm time from the edit text. Then we call the alarm manager.set function, where we set the time and pending intent in it. The alarm manager.rtc attribute does not wake up the Android device. When the stop alarm button is clicked, this is how we stop the alarm using the pending intent. Let's run the app. So that's it. That's how you can implement an alarm manager in Java Android. Thanks for watching.